protesters under the umbrella of concerned youths for development were mostly drawn from the oil producing areas in Orion local government, decrying the harassment, intimidation, and molestation of their locals, resulting in some cases to death. Spokespersons for the protesters said they decided to cry out because the heinous activities of the criminal headsmen have negatively affected the indigents. They said the farmers in the area now live in fear and no longer go to the farm for fear of being attacked by the criminal headsmen. So we don't want X-Men any, anymore. We're tired of rape. We're tired of kidnapping from, from them. So that is why we are telling the government that, that they should come to our Killing our youth, raping our wives, yeah. and destroying our farms with Islam and cattle. Unabated, we've cried so much. So many times we've lost precious souls. The protesters also kicked against the choice of the NDDC representative from Edo State. We get darkness and we get all year producing for year. Now, now, we don't get light. We don't get anything. Now, now, for, from Seplat. Now, now, we call the year, say, they put one person that they call, eh, uh, uh, so we are uh, We don't need that man. We want to send a very strong message to the federal government that we reject the nomination of Patrick Asso Wehe as the NDDC rep in Edo State. The NDDC representative from Edo State could not be reached for his reaction, but SA on administration and public relations to the NDDC representative, Liberty Ruyi, who spoke of camera, said those protesting are sponsored by certain political party and should not be taken seriously, but disregarded. Efosa Wangwe, ITV News.